Good morning, guys. It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. What the hell is on my neck? That's some fur. So, this is a video for Anna. Anna Fernandez, I believe. Anna Fernandez just asked a question. And this is a shirt I made, by the way. She asked a question, how to put in the actual um, material. So, first of all, the color side down. Now, I don't know if you're creating this for a sticker or for a shirt. So if it's for a shirt, you're gonna do the shiny side down and you're gonna put it in like this, open these little openers in the back, go to the, just find a ridge to line it up with, make sure it's straight edge all the way across on the bottom, drop all your rollers down, try to evenly space them across the material. Now you're going to push offline, offline, moves and then you can move the arrows back and forth move the arrows over to the bottom right hand corner you can go up and down to adjust the material left and right to adjust the cutter so as you can see that's the material up and down this is the cutter left and right go to the bottom right hand side now this saved me a lot of material take the cutter out Take the needle out, take this guy out, okay? And then push origin at the bottom, closest you can to, give it about an inch over or whatever, and then push origin twice. It will smack down, once it smacks down, that means that's going to be the starting point of cutting, but also that's going to be where it begins your image. So, when you show a display of the cut, watch, I'll show you real quick. Okay, now in Sign Master, now I have my image. That's going to be my image. If I'm doing a shirt, it needs to be in reverse, okay? If you need to know how to do that, then just ask and I'll do it for you. But you're going to select the image. Let's see here. My damn mouse isn't working, sorry. Well, okay. We've selected the image and I have a weed box around it. I don't know why that's there. I don't remember putting that there. But regardless, I kind of want to take it out. I don't really like the weed box, but what the hell is going on? My computer's freezing. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. Now, cutter. So like I was saying on the image, right here in the corner is where your cutter is going to be placed. And that was actually a pretty difficult thing for me to understand. So it's going to start from that point. So you don't want to be all the way to the edge, about an inch up, inch over. Reason is because if your image is right there, if you go to the cutter and if it's too close, it's just going to kick the material out the back. The reason I said to take the needle out is because you're going to do a dry run to see if it will cut the image before wasting material and actually cutting the image. Make sure it doesn't kick the material out, make sure something doesn't go wrong, make sure the cutter stays over the image the entire time. Now I'm gonna push cut now. This other screen's gonna come up, proceed with cut. Then I'm gonna run over here and make sure we're going over the image the whole time. Keep note of where your starting point was because it needs to start there again if it doesn't kick out the image. I wasted so much material trying to figure out exactly where to place it and it would go, it would cut right off of the page and it would like kick out the material halfway done and I would screw it up. So it should be just about done. By the way, I'll, I'll link up these squares in the description below. They make it so much better. I think that's a weed box. That weed box makes it cut a little bit close. I don't like that, how, how close that is. See how close that is right there? It's barely, barely on there. So you gotta be careful about making sure that you start at the same position as you did. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower with my start position. Another quick tip, when you go to 
actually cut it versus doing the fake cut, the dry cut without the needle, push reset. Otherwise, it's gonna kick your material right out the back and it's kind of annoying. So you're gonna push reset, go to offline mode, that's that button right there. Come back over. Now I'm gonna start a little bit lower because I don't like how close to comfort that one was. Push the origin button twice. And then we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna push cut twice. Cut, cut, cut. And then we're gonna see what happens now. Seeing kind of what it looks like now. As far as that back end, I don't want it to slip out and get all sideways on me. So, seeing how it works now. Here's the weed box. Looks a little better. It looks like it's just gonna be close with that box regardless. But it does look like a safe space. Okay, one more thing, Anna. I'm trying to make this very clear, uh, but I would say run your material up, run your material down, make sure it's going in a straight line. Just watch the edge. If it doesn't, you need to center up. I center up by using the line here versus the line here, just making sure it's a straight line all the way across. Now, the next thing you're gonna do before you start is you're gonna go ahead and put a test. Now I have the needle back in, so we're gonna push origin two times. It taps down. Now we're gonna push test to make sure the depth is right on the needle. And let's see, just scratch off this little piece. It looks a little deep. But honestly, that's my material or whatever, I think it's going to be okay. We're going to reset one more time. A little bit deeper is okay because with the large image, it gets moving and it tends to be okay. It didn't break all the way through. Pretty close, but I'm okay with that. So let's put uh, offline, run it back over. Bring the material up. Now we have to make sure we avoid that square. So we have to come just, just to the side of it. My logo doesn't go all the way to the side, so I'm not too, too worried about it. We're gonna push origin twice, and then we're gonna cut it, and we should be good to go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's a little deep. I haven't cut this logo, so hopefully it works. Okay, so in all honesty, the last video I went too deep and it destroyed the material. You can see it right there. It ate it like pretty bad. So scratch the going too deep thing. Let's bring it back over. I retested it and it looks like I feel comfortable with this depth now. Once you're not using your machine for a while, it takes, you have to kind of reset everything I did about 20 shirts last week let's go hold on I need to go a little bit lower all right let's check this one I feel more comfortable about this depth yeah that doesn't look as aggressive it looked pretty deep before now hopefully you can see my image getting cut I know the lighting's not super favorable. There you go. See it a little better now. You'll see it once it pops out, I'll show you. And honestly, uh, they say the weed box is good. I've had more trouble using the weed box than anything. Look, see? The weed box gets a little weird sometimes. Like, I don't know what it is, but... I just don't have a lot of luck with it. So this is the image. I don't know if you can see it, crap. Hopefully you can see it. I'll weed it out real quick and show you. Okay, so there's my logo. Now you'll see this is the shiny side. This is the back. This goes down onto the heat press over there. I don't know if you can see it. Great questions. I hope that helps. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.